As a teacher, I've worked with Teams and Google Classroom. I think I'm looking for a similar platform where people without an account can join. So that's a great question. And if you're looking for a way to teach, share information and have people go through a course of some sort or a you know learning journey of some sort with you, I haven't used Microsoft Teams myself for that, but I've certainly used Google Classroom for that. And Google Classroom is a great tool to be able to do that. Google Classroom is included for free if you have a business Google Workspace account. And it's the same as what you get if you were on an education account running a school. But if you have a business account, you get access to Classroom. And the cool thing with Classroom is you only have to have one license for Google Workspace, but you can add as many people as you want to Classroom. They can be inside your business or outside your business. You can invite them with a Gmail. But speaking of Gmail, that's the one downside to Google as well. You can only add people with a Google account, either a Gmail account or another Google Workspace account. You can't add someone random who just has a Microsoft account. Now, if you're a business owner and you're you know, running education programs, you can be pretty safe that most people have a Gmail account in the world. Like we're talking billions of mailboxes are on Gmail. And especially most young people have a Gmail account. Yeah, sure, not everyone in the world does, but usually someone's been forced to sign up to a Gmail account at some point in their life. So there's many people that certainly do have Gmail accounts. And so you're probably gonna be safe if you're running a course to say, hey, bring your Gmail account and plug it in. But if that's absolutely gonna be a showstopper for your business, there are other tools out there. And the tool category that you're looking for is LMS or Learning Management System. Now, if you want something real basic, you could go online to school.com, that's school with a K. And that's an online learning platform of sorts. It's more community focused, but it certainly has the ability to build modules and programs that you can have people go through. And you can even put a payment processor in the front of that if you wanna charge memberships for people to get access to your school. There's plenty of more traditional LMS learning management apps. If you search for LMS, you're gonna find a million of those online. And my recommendation if you're trying to choose software is to head along to g2.com. And that's gonna give you categories and ratings and lots of information on who's using apps and how popular they are and whether or not they're considered a leader in the industry. And that would be my recommendation for how you're choosing software. Now, in terms of the method to do a good evaluation of different software, well, I'd recommend you go to our channel and search choosing software. And I've got a number of videos that I've created on how to choose software for your business. And that will give you a guide to make really good decisions on selecting software. Because typically, if you're gonna choose a bit of software for your business, you're gonna stick with it for years and years and years. And if you make a bad decision now, you may have the cost of changing in the future. And we wanna ideally avoid that. We wanna be efficient, don't we? So go check out those videos on choosing software. You'll get my principles as an IT guy and as someone who's been a consultant for 20 plus years, helping people choose technology, helping people make good strategic choices with their business technology. All of that I've tried to distill down into those videos on the channel. So go ahead and check that out. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.